guys. I'm glad you guys stuck around for Sunday. Um, so the biggest question I get is, what are you guys? What exactly does Conquer do? I need to get a better understanding of this, right? So I'm going to talk to you guys today about why Conquer. Um, our purpose is to help musicians make money with their existing following. So I just want to, I just want to really drive that point home, um, because, you know, one of one of the things I see a lot of is I hear people say, "Well, Conquer is a record label, right? Definitely not a record label." Um, so again, our purpose is to help a musician make money with their existing following. Right, so we're trying to. Our, our goal is to help them become profitable. That's one of the hardest things for musicians, right? And that's that's our main goal is to make them profitable, right? And why would a musician want to be profitable? They want to be profitable because number one, a day job. It's really hard to go on a two-week tour or a month tour when you have a day job. It's really hard to spend time in the studio when you have a day job. It's really hard to pay for a studio when you when you have to work a day job and pay your bills. Right? When, when this isn't profitable, it's really hard for them to do their main thing. Okay? So it's a business just like any other business, and if it's not profitable, it's not working for them. So that's our main purpose. Okay? So what do we do? We help artists with social media growth. Okay? We also do give them some brand guidance, some coaching in that area. So sometimes they're not growing because they need to make tweaks to their brand. That we, we make sure they have a solid in internet presence. We make sure that everything is cohesive, um, that, it's, that it's optimized for them to grow. And we do lifestyle marketing, and that's where it ties into you guys, right? Um, what we focus on with an artist is retailing, right? So just like with Nutrametrics, just like with the NPO program, you're dealing with business to business. I know, I know we just talked about that in the last presentation. So this is another opportunity to deal business to business. And I know a lot of you guys, when you think of an artist, you're not thinking of a business, right? But that's, that's actually a business. That's a brand. So with this, you're dealing business to business. Um, our artists, our minimum requirement is that they have 10,000 followers. So that's at bottom. That's our bottom requirement. And so that's 10,000 customers, potential customers, okay? Just so you guys understand that. Um, so what are we not? What should you guys not say to an artist. We are not a platform to make someone famous. Is that always an artist's end goal? Absolutely. But we don't have like a magic wand, a famous wand, right? The point is to get them profitable, right? So we're, we're, not, we're not making them famous. Um, we're not a record label, okay? We're not a financier. We've never been any of those things, okay? So just to be really clear, and when you promise them those things, they're going to be, they're going to be kind of upset with you. It already sets a bad taste in their mouth. I know that feels like very attractive. You know that's what they want to hear. But we got to be careful that we're not making these type of promises. It's not what we are. Okay, so who should you guys talk to about this? Okay, so I want you guys to talk to music professionals about the Certified Arts Developer Training. That's how everyone who hasn't already taken our training should capitalize on this. But let me tell you, okay, I, have, I get so many messages all the time asking me to talk to an artist, and you guys are delaying taking the training. I'm going to explain to you what's in the training in just a second. But again, when you're dealing with a brand, with a business, you wouldn't, just, just like was said in the last presentation, you wouldn't go talk to a doctor, okay, without already taking the training. These artists have honed their craft over years and years. It, they build it like a business. It's a full-time thing, and they're working a full-time job at the same time, okay? And this is their baby. This is something you have to have respect for what they're doing and who they are. And you can't expect to go talk to them without taking the training, okay? Beyond that, the training teaches you guys internet marketing. The training is good for you even just for retailing. We teach you how to retail in the training because that's what you're doing with an artist, okay? So it should improve what you're doing online in terms of building your retail sales. So who are you targeting for, for bringing someone to the training? You're targeting uh, an artist manager with multiple clients. You're targeting, you can bring an artist to the training. They shouldn't be their own CAD. If you send an artist to the training, you go with them. Okay, because we have a special program for artists, similar to NPO or HP1, 
And it's not fair to ask an artist to register for the business as a regular unfranchised owner when we set up a program for them. And we set it up that way for a reason, so that they continue being an artist, can focus on their main thing, and this is a benefit to their main thing, to what they're doing. Okay? So, but if you are targeting an artist, it shouldn't be somebody brand new. They, they can't lifestyle market it. There's not money here in somebody that's brand new. Okay? It's somebody with a solid brand, a large engaged following, somebody that it makes sense to plug in brand affiliation, to plug in, you know, the retail side of this too. It doesn't make sense for somebody who doesn't have any music made, for example. Okay? So, Lifestyle marketing and CAD training, just so you guys know, to take it, you don't need to plan on working with artists, but you do need to take the training to effectively put this division into your toolbox, okay? So you, can't, you cannot go out talking to artists about this without already having the knowledge behind it, okay? Um, also, just another note, you don't have to already, I know, I know we've put the information out about the requirements to be a certified artist developer. You don't have to meet those requirements before you take the training. Just so you know, our training's a little bit special. We decided, remember me talking a few years ago about getting smaller to get bigger? Right, we did that for a reason. So April does a personalized 90-day follow-up with each and every person that takes the training. Okay, so if you don't meet our existing requirements, the first thing we do with you is work towards meeting those requirements. Okay, you don't even have to be an unfranchised owner to take the training. You can, you can bring a guest with you to the training. You know, they, they buy a ticket to the training, come out, get excited by attending the training, and then register for the business. That's an okay way to do it. Okay, but when you do that, I want you to come to the training with them. Do not send them there by themselves. Okay, so why should you guys take the training? What are we teaching it? So we're teaching you to increase retail sales. Um, we focus on the internet marketing side of that. Why do we do that? Because that's what we want you to do with an artist. Okay, and if you're not doing it yourself, it's very difficult to do that with an artist. And honestly, I wouldn't, so our requirements are based on that too. I don't want you taking an artist who has 10,000 followers um, and the goal is to retail with them, and you, you're not, you don't even have you know, 2,000 followers on social media. You're not active on social media. You know, you're not retailing yourself. You can't help an artist do that if you're not doing it yourself, right? So that's why we set the requirements, but we teach you how to do it in the training, okay? Learn about influencer marketing. Learn to grow your following and engagement. We give you targeted engagement strategies in the training. Um, learn how to develop online contests and campaigns that really work. And ultimately, we also learn, teach you how to speak to musicians and music industry professionals, because it's important to respect them, respect what they're do, doing, respect their craft, if you want them to listen to you, right? So we teach you how to talk to them, how to engage them, how to get them interested in what we're doing. So the bottom line is there is no money and just registering an artist. So the money is in an artist having success within our program. So I know some of you guys meet a musician you're very excited about and you wanna get them registered, right? If they don't meet our requirements and if you don't know how to work with them, there's no money in that. We don't pay you for a sign up. We pay you when they make money. You make money when they make money, right? So the biggest thing that contributes to an artist's overall success is having the income from their music to both support themselves so they can focus on their art and craft full time and so they can reinvest in their music career. Let me tell you, being an artist is expensive, okay? You, have, you can't imagine how much studio time, engineer, producer, tour, tour, you think they're making money on tour. At first, it's costing them money. I had an artist that we put on Warp Tour that was getting paid $250 a date for two weeks straight every day, and it cost her somewhere between five and $8,000 to go on that tour, not including what she made back. Just so you guys understand, you're paying, if you have a band, you're paying the band. If you have, so it's, a, it's an expensive endeavor. It's not cheap, okay? And they need to be making money for it, to, for it to be long term, for it to be something that really makes an impact for them to where it can become their full time, where, where they can turn it into their occupation, 
right? So it takes money to make money, and the goal here with Conquer is to get an artist making money, and there's a lot of artists with huge followings, you know, artists that you might have heard of that are not actually making money. I've heard of bands that have been touring for years, have a huge following, and they're still living at their parents' house because they're not making any money yet. Right? So that's a huge thing in the music industry. And the goal, this is an opportunity where they can make money right now. If you do the math on one of your products to 1% of a, of a um, 10,000 person fan base, do the math on that. See what you come up with. Use the, the NPO estimator in your back office for that. It's pretty impactful for an artist. Okay? Just so you guys understand that. So the goal is to get them making money where they're at now. And we started with 10,000 because that's where we believe that this is a realistic thing with lifestyle marketing, okay? So it's, it's to get them making money where they are at now so they're able to spend on the resources they need to help them get where they want to be. So I'm going to go over really quickly what we go through in the training. So we go through today's music industry, music industry history, making money on, online as an artist, uh, today's artists online, artist branding, artist relationships, lifestyle forms, conquer packages. You guys don't have to be in the music industry to take the training. We give you what you need. So that's day one. And day two, we teach you how to make money with it. Social media marketing, lifestyle marketing, who we are, how to add products into the mix, um, we go over what shop.com and Market America is so that if you're bringing somebody new to the training, they get an understanding there. Um, what the CAD requirements are, what the artist requirements are, and then we go over our tools and how to use them. So the biggest thing is our post-training tools and resources. That 90-day follow-up that we do, look up what personal coaching, especially like internet marketing-based, music industry-based, for 90 days one-on-one -on -one coaching, what that would cost. Okay, this, this is an incredible value to take this training. So, again, the 90 days personal branding coaching, that's the biggest thing that comes out of the training, is you're going to get somebody wherever you're at. It's okay, again, if you're not meeting our requirements. Wherever you at, are at right now, we work with you to first meet the requirements, then to work on putting your names list together and approaching other potential certified artist developers and artists. Okay, and then we work through, once you get somebody started, we work through the actual campaigns with you. And we start with wherever you're at right now. Wherever you're at right now is okay. Okay, so we also offer a complete system of branding tools. You guys all know Shop Buddy, right? It's a great tool for artists to use. Trend shops, uh, artists get their own personalized profile on getconquer.com. And by the way, every single preferred customer has a fan page on getconquer.com. I don't know if you guys were aware of that, but everybody has a fan page. If you have a shop.com login, you have a fan page on getconquer.com. Now, they may have not filled out their profile and set it up, but they have one, okay? We also have a great mobile app, and I'm gonna talk more about that in a second. Um, we have a great support team, a phenomenal support team, um, and artist services. So the artist a la carte services, again, we're not a financier, but we do have some great relationships, and sometimes artists need some tweaks, right, on their brands. Um, so we, we do offer what we have available to help them out. They're, they're paying for it themselves. We're not a financier, but we have uh, a la carte artist services that can help them out. Um, the Lifestyle Now mobile app. So we launched this last year, and just in case you guys forgot, what it is, is essentially on your phone, if I took a picture, or if you guys took a picture of me right now, it would automatically pull up everything I'm wearing. Um, you know, and you can even add in products that it doesn't pull up. So like if you wanted to add in the makeup I'm wearing, right? The, you know, I'm, uh, all motives, right? If you, want, if you wanted to add that in, this easily creates automatically a trend shop for you. So it's object recognition technology. It's gonna say, she's wearing this dress, she's wearing these shoes, okay? And it's gonna create a little trend shop, all right? And it automatically, it's like a, this is kind of like a social aggregator, right? So like, you guys familiar with Hootsuite? It's something like that to where it'll post to all your social media channels. So you take the picture, okay? And then it finds all the products, 
sets up a trend shop. You can add products to it if you want really easily right within the app. And then it posts it to all your social media channels. Really amazing. So let me just give you an example of how an artist might use that. An artist might say, hey, audience, everybody in the audience, I want you to download this app. OK, everybody that downloads the app becomes a preferred customer. They can also allow them to become an affiliate as well right within the app. So they say, everybody in the audience, download the app. OK, I want the best picture is going to get to come hang out with me backstage. The best picture from the app. OK, every single one is going to have products attached to it, is going to go out to every single person in that audience, social media following. OK, and any sales that go through with that are going to go back to the artist. OK, so that's a pretty incredible thing. But it's a great app for all of you as well. So quick little snapshot of what it looks like as you're going through it. You take a pic, tag your pic, and share your trend. Really simple to use, really intuitive. And also, you can share the app with others really easily. There's a, there's a share function within it. You can text it, and it all tracks back to you. So anybody that you send this out to is registered as your preferred customer. Text it, email it, share it on social media. So it's, it's available on the App Store on your iOS phone. You just search Lifestyle Now in the App Store. Um, on Android, on the Google Play Store. Um, again, Lifestyle Now is what you search for to get the app. We also have a really great compilation. I have people all the time ask me for like a brochure, a piece of literature. I'm going to tell you what, handing uh, an artist or a music industry professional a brochure or a piece of literature, it's a little, a little weird. It doesn't feel quite right to them to get a piece of literature about a company uh, you know, working on lifestyle marketing. Um, what is great is showing them, kind of showing them what we do. We have great video materials for you to send, but we also, if you want something in hand, I would hand them this compilation CD. Okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ultimately drive them back to us, but it's going to give a sampling of the type of artists we work with, you know, what our platform is like. This is the best marketing material that you can have. <clears throat> so driving it home, our CAD training, um, we only do this twice a year right now. And why? Because I want everyone that takes the CAD training to also attend this event. And also, I personally want to do every CAD training myself. We don't have trainers right now. I'm the trainer. So this training that we just did on Tuesday and Wednesday was sold out. Um, again, we only do it twice a year. So if you want to get in it, you need to get registered for it quickly. Um, we are also running a uh, internet sales funnel to target people specifically in the music industry outside of this, so bringing new people into it. It's going to sell out fast. Okay, um, It's 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., the two days after World Conference in Miami at the Host Hotel. And you can register at getconquer.com forward slash CAD training. It's $100 for two days, which is also incredibly inexpensive compared to every other training out there on the market that goes over uh, affiliate marketing, you know, influencer marketing. It's, it's incredibly competitive. It's, it's it, a steal. Okay, we're probably honestly going to raise the price pretty soon. Uh, so the 2020 Conquer Challenge, this is for all of you. Okay, so three things. You're going to attend the CAD training in Miami with two new guests. We didn't put the word new in there, but that's important. I don't want you to bring two people that are already on your team. I want you to go out and find two new people, OK? You're going to create and run a lifestyle campaign. And this is for everybody. It doesn't have to be. If, if you're already a certified artist developer, you can run it with one of your artists. But if not, you can do it with your own business, OK? So create and run a lifestyle campaign with at least one BV product and tag Conquer Challenge Miami in the post. Um, it has to be, you have to run it for at least two weeks. OK, one BV product, and you need to send us the results when you submit your challenge paperwork. OK, even if, even if the results weren't great, I, submitting the results is what gets it. OK, I, I just want to see you guys do it. 
Um, submit at least one artist to Best of the Booth Showcase at the Conquer Booth. The reason that we have the Best of the Booth is for you guys. We don't make the artists there meet the requirements. Um, we want you to get them to, out to convention, you know, get them involved in what we have going here, and that's why we do the Best of the Booth, okay? So I hope to see you guys at the CAD training in Miami, and I will be up at my booth if you guys have any questions for me today.